Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica. And for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts with the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through his crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand. Immaculate Mother, do do we plead to us, God our Father, for help in our need? Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Josephat, Bishop, and Martyr. In the Gospel, our Lord teaches us to pray unceasingly and perseveringly. We bring to God our personal petitions, worries, and anxieties, that through the intercession of Our Lady of Piat, God may generously respond to our petitions. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault, 
Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. pray stir up in your church we pray O Lord the spirit that filled Saint Joseph had, as he laid down his life for the sheep so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. You have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy to God to continue their journey, for they may have set out for the sake of the name and accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty. Upon generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, we kain mo po na kikiniga ko sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. 
He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in the town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are on the 32nd week of Ordinary Time. Tomorrow will be the 33rd Sunday. And after that, it will be the 34th Sunday or the last Sunday of Ordinary Time in which we celebrate the solemnity of Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. And if you will notice it, our readings these days and the coming days, they tell us of one reality, that this world will come to pass, and there is what we call last judgment or second coming. So in the gospel today, we heard Jesus asking his disciples, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Tayo ba ay mananatiling mga Kristiyano? Tayo ba ay mananatiling mga alagad ni Heso Kristo pagdating ng wakas ng panahon? Will we be able to persevere despite the trials and difficulties, despite the challenges, despite the temptations around us? Tayo ba ay mananatiling matatag sa ating pananampalataya kapag tayo ay magpapakita sa harapan ng trono ng Diyos what will we tell our God? What have we done in this world? Ano ang ginawa natin dito sa mundong kabutihan? Paano natin ipinakita ang pagmamahal natin sa Diyos at sa kapwa-tao? In other words, will we be faithful up to the end? And how do we become faithful? The Gospel tells us, if we are people of unceasing prayer, Kapag tayo ay hindi napapagod magdasal, kapag tayo ay nananatiling matatag sa ating mga panalangin, tayo ay mananatiling tapat sa Panginoon hanggang sa kanyang muling pagbabalik. Why? Because prayer sustains us. Prayer gives us strength. Alam po ninyo, noong panahon ng pandemya, ang daming mga tao na nagsasabi, Father, ang hirap ng buhay. Father, nakakasigrit tayong lahat. Father, wala kaming makain. Pero sa dasal na lang kami kumakapit. My dear brothers and sisters, that is true. Kung tayo ay madasalin, tayo ay hindi napapagod magdasal, tayo ay laging kumakapit sa Panginoon, mas lalo tayong nagkakaroon ng pag-asa at ang ating pananampalataya nagiging mas matatag. So just like our bodies need oxygen to breathe, so our souls, our spiritual life need prayer. Kasi pag hindi tayo nagdasal, our relationship with God is in danger. If we do not pray, we become weak. And if we become weak, we easily get tempted. We easily get discouraged. If we are weak in our faith, we can easily turn our back to God. So it is necessary for us then, my dear brothers and sisters, 
to learn to pray even in difficult situations, even in challenging times, even in times that we feel that God does not listen to us, even in times of darkness, let us not stop praying because prayer gives us hope prayer gives us strength and in the end we become faithful to our lord the gospel says that the woman the widow went to the judge asking that a decision be made in her favor because of her bothering because of being makulit because of being always in the presence of the judge the gospel tells us for a long time the judge was unwilling but eventually he thought while it is true that i neither fear god nor respect any human being because this widow keeps bothering me i shall deliver a just decision for her lest she finally come and strike me so the judge nakulitan siya doon sa byuda because he was always bothered by the widow so what happened the widow received what she wanted and says the lord in the gospel pay attention to what the dishonest judge says will not god then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night day and night my dear brothers and sisters if we call on to god god will grant our requests day and night if we call on to god god will listen to our prayers day and night if we perseveringly pray god will be at our side and we will be victorious in other words if we do not stop praying then when the lord comes when he returns he will find us in watchful prayer and that means we will be faithful up to the end so kung gusto po nating manatiling tapat sa panginoon wag nating kakaligtaan magdasal palagi tayong magdasal kahit na malabo o kahit na tayo ay laging may mga pagsubok sa buhay ang diyos laging nakikinig sa atin and God will grant us our petitions, our prayers in His perfect time. Please stand. We must pray unceasingly and never lose heart. Our God will see justice done to, this, to His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night. Encouraged by this teaching of our Lord, let us come to the Father with our intercessions. Father, listen to our prayers. Father, listen to our prayers. that the church through its ministers may persevere amidst all her trials and, at, and tribulations and never lose confidence in proclaiming the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That those who are discouraged and are tempted to give up the struggle in leading a good life may find new inspiration in the faithfulness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That those who find praying difficult may grow in fervor and make room for God in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That the sick may persevere in their sufferings and never lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. That the dead may receive the heavenly reward for their perseverance on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, listen to our prayers. 
Heavenly Father, we entrust our needs to you. Show us the way to pray unceasingly so that we may always be united to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. The bread by your hand was once a seed was sown, then grew and yielded on the ground and and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church most merciful God pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that Saint Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Josephat, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Santo, 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 Diyos makapangyarihan, Puspos ng walhati ang nangit at lupa, O sana, sana sa kaitaasan Pinagpalang narito sa ngala ng Panginoon O sana, o sana sa kaitaasan O sana, o sana sa kaitaasan you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Are the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen.
When will you since running in search of hollow meaning? Let this love fill the hunger in your soul till it overflows with joy. You yearn to know. In Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we Please stand. <coughs> Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve, Ad te clamamus, Exules Filieve, Ad te suspiramus, gementes et lentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Eia ergo, advocata nostra, ilus tuos misericordes oculos, Ad nos converte, et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostente, o clemens, o Santa de Igenetri, ut digne fischabur promiscelibus Christi, oremus, omnipotens sempiterne Deus, qui gloriose virginis matris Mariae corpus et anima, ut dignum fili tui habitaculum efficimere retur, Spiritus Santo cooperante preparasti, Da ut cuius commemoratione letamur, eius pia intercessione ab instantibus malis, et a morte perpetua liberemur, per undem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Those who brought with them their devotional handkerchiefs, please raise them as I say the prayer of blessing. Yung po may madalang mga panyo na pagdedebosyon kay Apo Baket, itaas po ninyo para sa pagdadasal. Pagkatapos po ng misa, during the final song, please come forward to have your handkerchiefs sprinkled with holy water. O God, the author and perfecter of all holiness, you call who are reborn of water and the Holy Spirit to the fullness of the Christian life and perfection of charity. 
Look with kindness on those who devoutly use these handkerchiefs in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Piat. Show kindness to these your servants who with devotion wish to use these handkerchiefs as a sign of your goodness. Grant through these handkerchiefs, dispel the, the, the evil in their lives, wipe away their tears, the pains of body and spirit, and may it also bring healing to those who are sick. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Yung pong may mga panyong ipapabasbas, lumapit po kayo. Marayaw virhen na piyat Asing nga may kalulungan Si kawi akigutan Yenakanak kagayat Si kawi akigutan let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings, which you know I need in life. The end of the rest, Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly... and a special grace to thine God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.